I am very you know, excited to see a lot of the improvements that have taken place uh, in uh, the work of the courts. Uh, uh, taking into account all the challenges, I uh, sometime in June I read uh, the strategic uh, plan that was launched. I think it was launched sometime in June. Yes, you know, for, and I thought that. Um, it was. Uh, it took into account a lot of the challenges and how to resolve uh, those challenges. I think one of the critical uh, issues is the is more sensitization. I have a feeling that, of course, you know the tensions with complementarity and all that we spoke about uh, when you visited. I think that a lot of countries are, you know. Uh, will be willing, more willing, and uh, will, uh, certainly in Nigeria. I think that uh, people just require, I think governments require a bit uh, more assurance, especially on issues of complementarity, you know, uh, and the, the, the regional system is important, no question at all, and, we, and all the countries adopted uh, there's the AU adopted this regional system, so there's every reason why we should all cooperate and uh, to uh, to work with it. But I'm I am hopeful that um, in due in, in due course we will be able to get to the point where we are working uh, closely with the courts and uh, being able to use the facilities of the courts and us and organization who will be able to use the facilities of the courts. But I, I I personally have followed very closely the work of the courts. As a matter of fact, my very first visit to Arusha was uh, 15 years ago when I came to the International Court of uh, the International Criminal Court uh, to do some consulting. I was actually Attorney General in Lagos, Nigeria at the time. I was invited to do some training for prosecutors at the ICC. So I was actually here at that time. That was my first time in, uh, in, uh, in Arusha. So I'm, I'm very, you know, I believe very strongly in the, in the international court system and the regional court system, especially with respect to the protection of human rights. But uh, you will, there will always be tensions and challenges, especially because states would always be, you know, uh, mindful of their sovereignty and, and all of that, so it was a lot of tensions. But I really want to commend you for the great work that has been going on, you know, and uh, the very many uh, cases that have come before the courts, and many have watched closely, especially the cases on the protection of the rights of women, protection and freedom of information and those sorts of things. I think they've been really, uh, I think they've, they've pointed in the right direction. And, and I, I, uh, I I think that we're all, we're all proud of the work that, that you're doing. I'm very proud of the work.